where you want to attack. And that's what both these players will be looking to do, to get themselves into a position where they can take the shuttle very early at the front of the court to win that attacking time. Now the lift was short again and a golden opportunity. Six. Oh. For the Indonesian. Certainly in the Jakarta Post in this last week, I've been reading a lot of articles about Taufik Hidayat and his preparations for this All England. It, it riles him that it's a title that he's never won. The tradition of this tournament, I can't emphasize it enough, it is to badminton what Wimbledon is to tennis. It is so important. And of course, he was saying he's seven, never won seven, this title, seven, twice a beaten finalist, six. and he's very, very anxious to win it this year. But that, of course, he's putting pressure on himself saying that. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy with enormous pride. And the last couple of years, he's had his problem, problems with his federation. He's gone independent. He's got his own coach and his own manager now. And he seems a lot more at ease with himself. I was chatting with him in the hotel last night, and I haven't seen him this motivated and this keen for, for a long time. He really looks as though he's, he's enjoying it again, and uh, that's dangerous for the other players. Yeah, we forget that he's only 28 years of age. He seems to have been around for such a long time. Younger Stefan, winner of a major Grand Prix tournament when he uh, won the Brunei Open as a 16-year-old in 1998, Taufik Oh, extraordinary, isn't it? Serve, serve. Precision. These are two of the best net players Seven. in the world. I mean, that's a, that's a super shot from Peter. He was even a little bit off net there and managed to find the tape there. That's, and you see the turn on the shuttle there. That's a, that's a great angle to see the precision of that shot. Seem to try and force that a little too much. Nine, Just a seven. little bit, but there in that in that uh, rally, we also see another aspect that's sometimes overlooked in men's singles: the agility in defence, the ability to get down so quickly to the sides and then get back into position to to find your way back into the rally. We, uh, that, that's a super play from Peter there in defence. And that's an even better smash from Taufik Hidayat. Seven, seven. Power and placement, Nine. a little lethal combination. And again, he got, the, he got the early net shot in, Peter forced to lift, and uh, that's Tafik at his best. <coughs> oh, that's glorious. Absolutely delightful. We've seen the, the best of both players in the last two rounds. Clean winners at this level are not, are not so common, and there we've seen two super shots. Defence, that's exactly what you were talking about. Defensive play, getting out wide to his forehand side and just blocking the shuttle cross court. That is wonderful from the Dane. And it means that Peter Gader goes to the mid game interval with a three point advantage. <laughs> De bider på, om han kommer ned, så holder han den ned, og så bare langt frem på den, og giver ham det lange løbetur. Ja, så var det. Eller spiller på planen, men helt perfekt. Vi husker på en fire med en gang en gang hen. Kort 2, 20 sekunder. Kort 2, 20 sekunder. Det er nu det. 
And of course, the fact that Taufik Hidiyat now independent of PBSI, the National Association, Badminton Association in Indonesia. Well, the official coaching staff not coming on to court, but he's rightly saying his own coaching Play. team. Oh, my goodness. It's a magician. One of the reasons why Tafik's so popular around the world. That's just an incredible shot. There, just the hold. We're going to see the hold. Peter committed, bang. Completely sent Peter completely the wrong way. Well, we'll talk about all the records that both these players hold, but Taufik Hidiyat, the most astonishing record, I think, is the fact that he's never won a Super Series title. Oh, that's, a, that's an incredible statistic. Huh? That's one I find very hard to understand. Four times he's reached the final, but he's never actually, in a Super Series event, won a Super Ten, Series title. The Super yeah. Series, of course, came into existence in 2007. 12 tournaments each year, the Super Series, and, of course, the All England, event number three on the 12 tournament tour. These two players haven't been, been around the game so long at such a high level. I'm sure both of them understand the importance of the 100th All England. And I'm sure it's in, been in both of their minds what, a, what an honour it would be to have their name on that 100th, uh, that 100th event. And I'm sure both of them have done a little bit extra in preparation for this event. They both understand the history of the game very well. Yes, Peter Gader has often talked about that. He's actually playing in his 13th All England Championship. Seventh time he's been in the quarter-final this year. Talked about the tradition. And, of course, Denmark have a very good record in the All England Championships. Erlen Kops, of course, a multiple winner. Seven times winner, I think, of the All England Championship. Morton Frost reached the final eight consecutive years, winning four of them. Paul Eric Hoyer, a couple of times he won. One in the middle for Ib Fredrickson as well, often forgot, but uh, also another good championships. Uh, what a well-constructed rally. 13-10. Forced to play the high backhand, so Telfik Hidiat often quite happy to play the high back and he's got such wonderful timing on that shot timing and technique and he makes it look so easy and just a little flick of the racket and then the shuttle goes whizzing to the back of the court oh my goodness talk about fast onto the net 14, and there we see the tactical side of the game i mean peter knows he's got three or four points up he knows tafik's answers probably to look for the net and there he's anticipated that reply very very well it's going to go wide yep pushing the day to his backhand side yeah, then fast 14. deep into his forehand corner and then the final smash down the Danes' backhand side once more. It's that twisting and turning. It's not just movement back and front on court. It's always having to twist and turn. Oh. <laughs> what can you say? That's just magnificent. I know that I know the lift was short 12, from the day. 14. Good tight net shot from the Indonesian. But look at this. Look how calm he is. Beautiful deception. 